What's up everyone? Here today with clocked cables and got quite a few boxes. We're gonna take their modular system and create a two-way split for an in-ear monitor system. I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing here, so I'm gonna take everything out of the box and see what we got. So the way that the module system works is that I have 32 XLR inputs. Then I have two 16-way XLRs to go to our in-ear mixer. And then I have this connector, which I'll open up, which is an RMP, which accepts up to 48 outputs or inputs. And there's gonna be an input module and an output module on this 2U uh, splitter. And basically it's so that when we do festival gigs, we can just run straight from what's going on at the monitor section of the festival, connect, and it goes straight to our ears. Or we're gonna do a fan out for um, from the back so that it can go into the front house um, on normal club gigs. And I'll show you the cable for that in a second. So that's a heavy ass cable, but right down. So this will be our everyday cable to connect it to front of house. It's an RMP, and then it's gonna be going to 32 XLR male jacks. So apparently this is really easy to set up. So I'm gonna see how I get on with just assembling it. With the Klotz modular system, you can configure it however you want. So they do it in 2U, 3U, or 4U format. You get a completely blank case like this. Hello. Um, we opted for the 2U because it's more portable. Um, but if you guys want to split it three-way or even four-way, then that's possible with this thing. So this is the module, these are the connectors. They're split into four channels, so it's really easy to connect the top two and the bottom two. But yeah, very, very easy. It's just gonna make it a little bit of a mess in here, you know? So I'm gonna have to make sure that I wire this very, very well. So I'm going to take all these modules back off the front and just pull them through. I think it'll make it much easier to do this. Let's try that. Anyone could do this. It's really easy. I know it's, I'm making it look more difficult it's because I didn't think about it. The, the connections were going to be so compacted in such a tiny space. So if we connect everything up and then push it in, it should be fairly straightforward to, to do. And last but not least, the big boy, another 16U, XLR, I put it into the wrong one, ah, my hands fucking hurt, okay, let's try. 
try and put it together. <laughs> I've dropped so many screws on the floor. Okay. So this took me what? It's taken me an hour and 10 minutes so far and a lot of trial and error. So yeah, you could probably build this in about 20 minutes if you really wanted to. fingers hurt. Why won't this work for me? Is there something in there? A bit ago. Where is it going? Sick. Here it is. Okay, let's just test it, see if it works. So I'm just gonna go through them all one at a time into my interface just to see make sure that I haven't done anything stupid. So let's try number one. I'm sorry if you guys hear a loud pop right now. Check, are you still there? Ah, it works. Does it work? Ah! Yes, I have a signal. Okay, that's a good start. So we've tried all of those. So now I'm gonna try the bottom row ones and then go from there. But my camera's about to run out of charge. So I'll just skip, I'll just skip all this bit. Cause there's no point. Steve. <laughs> 